Yeah, watching KG and the General on this magnificent Tuesday afternoon. Still a battle at the Adelaide Oval. The Australians are still five down, got just under 15 overs remaining. So we'll keep you posted with the outcome of that. Yes, KG, of course, Tuesday, so it's time to get into the locker room with KG and the General. Brought to us by Mawson Lakes Hotel. They're at 10 Main Road, Mawson Lakes. Beautiful hotel. Or you can check them out online at mawsonlakeshotel.com.au. Cage, this man played for the Crows, of course. Played for the Bombers. Between 2001 and 2005, started with Essendon. Before that, he was with North Adelaide. We talk about Chris Laddams, the loping left footer. Cage, although he wasn't loping, he was pretty kick quick. Pretty quick, but he could launch it if he had to. Chris, how are you? G'day, boys. Not as quick anymore, but uh, <laughs> thanks, boys. <laughs> now, now, Chris, where did it all start for you? Where did, where did footy start? Oh, down at that famous footy club called the Gazer Football Club, where both uh, Andrew and Darren Jarman are from, and... Also, uh, Paul Nope. So, started down there when I was five, and um, five. Yeah. So, yeah, I was lucky to play in the under eights down there, and um, yeah, lucky enough to have. Uh, yeah, back then it was Darren having a kick with me on the oval. So, yeah, no, that's why he was uh, one of my idols. So, yeah, that was the good days down at the, the old Gazer Park. Gee, Chris, it's, the the the, the Gazer Football Club over the years have produced some outstanding footballers. You're right; it, it is a famous football club. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, you know, a lot of good players have got uh, come and gone from there, and also cricket as well with Paul Nobe. So yeah, Nobe. Uh, um, they've had some talent through the club. So uh, yeah, the junior ranks. Um, yeah, they've done pretty well out so, of that footy club, I'd say. So Chris, you went from Gazer to North Adelaide. Yeah, just uh, I was lucky enough to be uh, selected in the North Adelaide to the zone, and um, yeah. By then, I was playing 13s, 14s, 15s, and then, uh, yeah, played a bit of 17s in league footy. And, and who was your first senior coach there, Chris? Uh, well, when I was there, it was uh, Chris McDermott. I was 16 at the time, so Bones was the coach at the time, and uh, he grabbed a little chubby sort of fella back then, and <laughs> he uh, got me a bit fit and put me in the league side with all the all the great players back then, like what, Timmy Noonan. And that. What style of coach was Bones? Yeah, he's pretty hard hard coach but um, tactically one of the best coaches I've had um, just back, back in the days we just didn't have the depth back no. in North LA the, the first year we, we did pretty well you know Sticks Phillips and all them boats were playing back then but you know after the year after that we really had no money so we had no depth and uh, yeah it was pretty hard to actually put a you know quality team on the park so you had to play kids and develop you know blokes like myself in the league squad, which um, which I'm happy about these days. So um, yeah, so that that was a role that he pretty much did, and it it didn't really take too much out of his coach. And like he's a pretty, I I back him as one of, one of my best coaches I've ever had. So yeah, that's a big well, you went from uh, North to Essendon. I guess Sheeds would have been the coach there. How was your time at Essendon? Yeah, a bit different. Um, In what coming, way, Chris? Coming with uh, yeah, with. with from Chris McDermott, who was always talking to you and all that sort of stuff. She's always left, for a young bloke, left it to the development coaches back then and, and also the um, assistant coaches. So I didn't really have too much of a um, relationship sort of with, with Sheeds. But uh, the times that, you know, you did get with Sheeds, you got a bit out of it. So uh, uh, he spent most of the time with, with the senior sort of group and as a young group coming, a uh, young bloke coming through, you yeah, pretty much was under like Mark Harvey and um, sort of Terry Danaher and and yeah just the the atmosphere of the club was was, was fantastic um, they they made you all feel welcome you know your family and that sort of stuff so yeah, yeah really enjoyed my two years over there and how did you find Mark Harvey Chris very good yeah he's uh, he's a bit of a clone to Sheeds really um, yeah he um, he's very tactically very good so you know he's having some tough times over in Fremantle at the moment but. Uh, with that squad that he's got, I think any coach would have a bit of tough times. So, uh, um, yeah, so I think he's just going to um, develop, you know, a list. Um, but he was just fantastic to me, and um, he's great in developing like young blokes and tactically very good. Chris, what about... Sorry, sorry, Kato. So 2001 then, uh, back to Adelaide with the Crows? Yeah, I tried to get um, back... Uh, well, James Ed Tazer and Gary Ez come over in 2000 and try to get me back for that year and um, they couldn't do sort of like a trade sort of deal so I was still contracted with the Bombers so um, yeah I had to wait a year and I was on the phone to uh, James pretty much all during that year um, still seeing if I was interested to come back so yeah I'd end up coming back um, 
We, uh, they, di- they didn't want to do the deal, the Bombers. They wanted to keep me at Essendon, so we ended up, uh, yeah, doing the old pre-season deal and Adelaide had a pick early in the pre-season deal in which picked me up, so... Chris, how enjoyable were those days at Adelaide? Because you you're, you're pretty successful there. Yeah, we did. We played, you know, finals every year, you know. We were, uh, you know, probably disappointed at the prelim final yeah. against Collingwood where, um, you know, Andrew McLeod went down with an anchor and Tyce Edwards got thugged by a cloak. So we lost our midfield rotations there, but they were great times. You know, we uh, had some classy players back then playing and, uh, you know, the Rupert and uh, Darren Jarman, he's prime back then as well. How good so, was he, Chris? Uh, <laughs> that was one of the ra- main reasons to come back, Cage, to uh, play with your idol. And, um, oh. yeah, it was uh, it was. A uh, fantastic time playing with him, and his skills on and off off the field was uh, um, amazing. So, yeah, I got got the opportunity to play with me idol, which um, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll look back now and go, oh, you know, thank thank the Adelaide Footy Club for it. So, 